Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. You'll find news on the Second Amendment every single day here, oftentimes multiple times a day. This is the video number two of the day. And if you want to stay in the know, all you gotta do is subscribe down below and hit the bell icon and toggle it to all notifications and you'll stay in the know. I want to thank Blackout Coffee for sponsoring this video. With Blackout Coffee, we have coffee, teas, and hot chocolates, flavors all across the spectrum, sure to tickle your fancy. We also have the Firearms Policy Coalition and the Gun Owners of America lines of products. If you want to help out those groups, every product you buy from their product lines, we donate $2 of each item purchased right back to those groups for them to help in the fight. And I want to thank those who have already because our donations have increased so far in the two months that we've been doing it. We have been able to give back more this month than we did last month. And that's a good thing to see. So thank you to Blackout Coffee for sponsoring this video. It's blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. And let's jump into this one. This is going to be a quick little update for our friends in Texas because there is a governor's race of brewing between Greg Abbott and Robert Francis O'Rourke. Now, Robert Francis O'Rourke is an Irishman who likes to dip his toe in the I want to pretend I'm Spanish so I can get your votes. Uh, and every time he gets a chance, he'll try to talk, uh, speak in Spanish, and it's terrible. And they, he wants to be called Beto. And he has, uh, he, he, he became famous by saying this. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not gonna allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Now he stood by those, those uh, claims and, and those statements right up through the end of November, mid-November of 2021. But then in February of 2022, he changed, he flip-flopped. Why? Because he's running for governor and he wants your vote and he's gonna say anything he can if you live in Texas, to get your vote. So this is what he said in February, on February 8th to be exact. Speaking to reporters, O'Rourke also took a question about his controversial stance on guns and those 2019 remarks about taking away AR-15s and AK-47s. I'm not interested in taking anything from anyone. What I want to make sure that we do is defend the Second Amendment. I want to make sure that we protect our fellow Texans far better than we're doing right now and that we listen to law enforcement, which Greg Abbott refused to do, turned his back on when he signed that permitless carry bill that endangers the lives of law enforcement in a state that has seen more cops and sheriff's deputies gunned down than in any other. Well, now here we are midway through the month of March and maybe he felt empowered with the gun control that was sprinkled into the omnibus spending bill and now he's flip-flopped again. He was interviewed at an event called South by Southwest just two short days ago and old Beto said this. During this interview, he was pressed to clarify his stance on the idea of confiscating assault style firearms from residents in Texas. And Francis finally said this, I don't think anyone should have one. And if I can find the consensus within the legislature to have a law in the state of Texas that allows us to buy those AK-47s and AR-15s back, we will. As you said earlier, I cannot mandate or dictate anything as the next governor of the state of Texas I'm going to have to do this by listening moving forward. So he just told you as a gubernatorial candidate for the state of Texas that he is all for an assault weapon ban. He wants to buy them back. Now they weren't his, they're, they weren't the state's, they weren't the government's items, so they don't get to buy them back. But Beto O'Rourke just said in an interview two days ago that he is in favor of an assault weapon ban in the state of Texas. Now he also, <laughs> during this interview, called uh, called the, the current governor, Greg Abbott, called him a thug and an oligarch. And again, you know, he's, he said that he's turned his back on police by signing constitutional carry. Uh, Beto O'Rourke, wanting to be your governor in Texas. Now, I know that my Texan viewers are not going to let this happen. Well, I hope that you're not going to let this happen. But what I need to do is put this out for you so you can see what's going on and you can share this because you might not vote for him, but I guarantee you know somebody who will. And now's your opportunity to get their mind correct so that we don't have a problem in Texas come November. Guys and gals, thank you so much for your time. I just wanted to put this on your radar so that you can get it out there. I appreciate each and every single one of you more than you know. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Because that's what the Second Amendment is for. It's not for hunting Kevlar-coated deer. Take care, y'all.